Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install the GDS Factory Plus library in your local Visual Studio code. We only recommend this for power users who want to have a local installation. If you are using the cloud version, you can skip this step. Steps to install the extension. First, open Visual Studio code on your computer. Navigate to the Extensions tab on the left menu bar, represented by an icon that looks like four squares. Search for the GDS Factory Plus extension and press the Install button. This will download and install the extension on your local machine. Once the installation is complete, make sure you open a GDS Factory Plus project for the application to work correctly. Each PDK has its own sample project, which you can use to test the extension. If the project was made with an older version of GDS Factory Plus, you may need to update the project to the latest version. The extension will prompt you to do this if necessary. Verifying the installation. Check the left menu bar in Visual Studio Code. You should see new menu items labeled P, D, K, and D, R, C. If these appear, the extension has been installed correctly. Creating and setting up the API key. To set up the API key, go to the GDS Factory Plus website and sign in with your username. On the left-hand menu, click API Keys, and then press the Create New API Key button. You will need to provide a name for the key, which can be anything you choose. In this case, I use My API Key as the name. To view the generated API key, you can press on the I icon, then copy the generated API key so you can paste it in the VS Code extension. To paste it, you need to click on the PDK icon on the left menu bar, then click on the Settings icon, then click on Edit Global Settings, and paste the API key in the key field. After pasting the API key, press Go to File and press the Save button. The extension will now be able to communicate with the GDS Factory Plus server. Make sure you reload the window to apply the changes. With these steps, you'll have the GDS Factory Plus extension installed and ready to use. If you encounter any issues, check the documentation or reach out to support for her help. Notice that the first time you run the extension, it will take almost one minute to build the project and PDK components. This is normal behavior and subsequent runs will be faster. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.